Good morning. Uh, my name's Kaylin, and I'm going to read my Allagash reflection. <laughs> There's nothing in this world that quite compares to the sense of calm and sanctity that one feels while laying awake at night, listening to the hard flicks of rain beat against the thin canvas of the tent that they call home. The storm outside could be wreaking havoc, but once that rain fly is zipped, all that is not inside the tent becomes irrelevant, and the still pounding thunder roaring in unison with the ever crackling lightning seems but harmless. This illusion of safety created by just four sewn fabric sheets held up by detachable metal poles is magical. I had the luxury of experiencing this sensation many times while I was on the Allagash this year, as many before me have and countless after me will. This trip in particular had frequently stormy weather, but even the dreariest nights seemed beautiful. I went on the Allagash last year as well, but it was a 10-day trip as opposed to 14, and in my head, the four-day difference was nothing. However, when we were actually on the waterway, four days felt like an eternity. From day one this year, I was done. We put in a thoroughfare, and it was a gorgeous day. I had the honor of being in a three-person canoe, which was later nicknamed C-3PO. I was admittedly not too thrilled to sit in the middle, with no real seat or good position to paddle for two weeks, but I was determined to remain open-minded. After all, how bad could it be to put three kids in a canoe with no steering experience? Just about as bad as I could have imagined, actually. For the first day, anyways. Poor Cam was backing day one on his first ever Allagash, and at first, Graham and I were very sympathetic, but by lunch, we were all a bit annoyed of the zigzag course that we had been following. We all knew that it was no one's fault, but we began to get snappy and start barking at each other anyways. All we could see was how far behind we were and how sore our arms were, and sadly, Cameron got the brunt of most of that. There were moments where we were cheery and optimistic as could be, but they didn't last long, and the majority of the rest of the day went on as us switching between being angry at each other, angry at ourselves, and angry at everyone else. By bedtime that night, I know that every member of C-3PO was feeling 100% sure they would never go on another Allagash again. The next morning, and every morning after, went much better than day one, though. We started fresh with new attitudes and decided to switch up the way the canoe was loaded and who sat where. It was a good choice because although it wasn't instant, after a few days, the three-person canoe was able to stay with the rest of the group, and we bickered far less and joked and told fun stories far more. I'm not sure when exactly, but at some point, we stopped complaining about being stuck with three kids who couldn't steer and started being thankful just to canoe at all. The opportunity to see Earth from a whole new perspective was well worth forgetting my preconceived negativity. Maine truly is an amazing place. The woods are home to a great deal of wildlife, and the water is teeming with fish. The amount of bald eagles we saw was astounding. Loons were around every bend. A moose let us float peacefully by. Some of those who went on the fire tower hike had a run-in with a mystical woods chicken. And a cute bunny tried to play bocce with us. The animals on the waterway were very interesting, and the weather was rough, although not unpredictable. Big thanks to Ashley for giving Lucian a two-week forecast that somehow remained accurate the entire time. We didn't have too many sunny days, but those we had, we greatly enjoyed. As for the not-so-pretty days, we made it work. As a group, we kept the morale as high as could be, with singing and joke-telling and riddles. Even the worst weather couldn't bring us down. Twice on this one trip, we had to pull to the side of the water because of lightning. Waiting out a storm isn't the most comfortable, as I'm sure that you can imagine. As the first sight of light, at the first sign of lightning, everyone immediately brings their canoes to the shoreline, pulls them up as high as possible, and hurries into the woods to find a safe place to crouch. It was wet and muddy, pretty cramps too, but even though we were separated from parts of our group, we remained calm. Circumstances weren't ideal, so we passed the time singing or trying to solve the riddle. The riddle took me far longer than I'd like to admit, and it really is quite clever. Everyone by the end of the trip had it figured out. The riddle goes as follows. Two men were canoeing in the desert. The first guy was paddling, 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 and he turned around and saw the second guy didn't have his paddle. So he asked, where's your paddle? And the second guy answered, sure does. That's it. That's the entire riddle. <laughs> it frustrated me far more than it should have, but it was a good deal of fun as everyone started to realize what the punchline was. It also became an inside joke of sorts. We'd say it when it didn't make sense. We'd say it just for a laugh. So over the course of the trip, sure does, developed a new meaning. To me, it will always bring back fond memories of Allagash 2017 and those I shared it with. The hard work, community, nature, laughs, and games all embodied by one simple, silly phrase. So overall, how is the Allagash and what did I learn? 
Sure does. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I'm Emmett, and this year was my second Allagash trip. Uh, one of my favorite things of the Allagash is watching and participating as the group forms itself into a family and a team. Compared to last year, the first two days of this trip were tough. The first day was by far the hardest mentally and physically. It was a near 21-mile paddle across Chamberlain Lake with the wind fighting us at every chance it could get. This took hours of tough work and exhausted the mind because the campsite never seemed to be getting any closer. Despite these issues, once we hit shore, the entire mood took a turn. Fueled by the struggle, we all wanted to get everything done as quickly as possible to get it all over with and relax, and we did. We formed an amazing team from the start. Every person filled a role, working towards our strengths and others covering for our weaknesses. Among some of these roles were Mary, who quickly became the captain of the dessert team. Caitlin and I were in charge of keeping the stove lit. Lucian was making drinks. Maddie was always at the stove cooking and stirring. Ian was making the fire at night, along with help from Sean and Graham. In a matter of no time, we all formed into a team to get everything done as fast as possible. It was amazing how well we worked together on such short notice. Day two was not nearly as long, but it was much more of an uphill battle. On that day, we were challenged with paddling and pulling our fully packed canoes upstream to Little Allagash Falls. Although tough, it was quite a bit of fun getting up the river for most of the day, that is. The first half went very smooth, all things considered. We were just navigating the river, working our way up. For one of the only times on the trip, I didn't really mind getting wet. A little ways up, I realized that pulling the canoe didn't take as much effort as I thought it would, and I let Lydia jump in so that she could take a ride up the river. We found it fun to make her keep beeping constantly because the canoe was in reverse as we went up the river. <laughs> when we got to a patch of rough water under a bridge, we all formed an assembly line to pass the canoes to one another, making it much easier. Another moment where our teamwork had shown. However, the toughest part of the day was yet to come. There was this ledge we had to get our canoes over or portage around, and it was rough. A couple of us had to hold onto a rope and pull the canoes over this ledge while standing and fighting the tough current while others at the bottom had to keep the canoes still and push others up to us. Over this operation, quite a few of us took a tumble and went down the river, me be almost being one of them, but I grabbed a rock. Thinking back to the time, I should have just let myself go down. No one who fell got hurt, but when I grabbed onto the rock, I cut my shin. This was no easy task, but eventually we managed to get all the canoes up with only a few losses. When we finally made it to the falls, we found that it was quite a steep walk up the stairs to the campsite, so working as hard as we could, we managed to get everything up in no time. After those two days, we had gotten over the hard times for the most part. Those days made us grow as a team at an accelerated pace due to the struggles we all faced, and kick-started us to an easier, happier rest of the trip. The hard times made us grow strong, the fights with nature made us closer to each other, and the best way possible, we came a family in those first days on the Allagash. That's what I always take away from this trip. Through the tough times, we overcome. Good morning. Before going on the Allagash this year, which is actually my first year going, I had heard many stories from various people who had gone on the trip before. I know of countless people from our community who had been on the Allagash before, and they all loved it. Many people have told me all about their experiences on the trip, good and bad, which is what makes the Algash such a memorable experience. After learning about what the Algash canoe trip was from people in our community and from being in fellowship, I decided it was time to experience this opportunity myself. Prior to going, I was lucky enough and very thankful to have received a scholarship award in Trevor Barbin's name. It has helped me greatly to be able to go on this wonderful trip in the first place. During Allagash work times, we were, we were getting ready to go on the trip, I began to realize what things to expect on the Allagash. Then again, every trip is different, so you always have to keep an open mind and stay positive throughout your time on the waterway. On the trip this year, our group worked really well together to create a welcoming and helpful community with each other. This especially was true from my point of view because on day two, I had gotten injured. And despite whatever else was going on, each and every single person made an effort to help me in some way because of my injury. 
I am proud of the people who are on the Allagash with me because through all the paddling, walking upstream, portaging, and all of the rain that came down on us, we all persisted and worked together like one great big family. For me, I got to see all of the helpfulness and teamwork as a community because I couldn't do as much as everyone else could after I had gotten hurt. It being my first year, I wanted to help more but couldn't or felt bad because people had to help me hobble to the bathroom or get me food or something else I needed. But I soon realized that even if I couldn't help as much since I got hurt, or even though I wasn't that close with everyone, all of them still cared about me and we all cared for each other and helped each other with things big and small, regardless of how well we knew each other prior to going on the trip. The first couple of days were the hardest for us all. We were still trying to get into the swing of things, schedule-wise and learning people's strengths. Day one, we paddled over just 20 miles about and the wind was not nice to us, but we all kept going nonetheless. Day two, we paddled for a little bit and even saw a few animals before walking upstream. This is where we all built a lot of trust and learned how to work together more efficiently. This is also when we are trying to pull our canoes up and over a ledge, but unfortunately it wasn't going that well and a lot of people's stuff got wet or lost a few things. So we had to portage the rest of our gear through the woods to the top of the ledge. However, there were rocks and the shore had a semi-steep hill next to the river, so as I was trying to bring some of our gear to the top of the ledge, I slipped on the rock and hurt my ankle. I was going to try to walk it off because I didn't want to hold the group back or ruin my first experience on the trip, but multiple people, not just advisors, saw that I needed help. So Kara, our amazing trip leader, evaluated my ankle and splinted it up to continue towards Little Allagash Falls. The next day was a layover day at Little Allagash Falls and multiple people went swimming or walked through the woods or other things. Meanwhile, I was sitting at a table for 10 hours straight. That sounds boring, but it wasn't with this group. At one point, Adam, who's one of our advisors, saw that everyone kind of just dispersed to go and explore and said, Oh, I wonder where they're all running off to. And I said, on the bright side, at least you don't have to worry about me running off anywhere. <laughs> After he started laughing, this is where I began to understand the feeling of community. Everyone included me and helped me stay positive and have a good time regardless of sitting at that table. Except for the few times I had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> that day, some of the high schoolers, some of whom are here today, helped me get to the outhouse, which was only about a quarter mile away. However, when hobbling, it feels about 20. But with the very appreciative help of a few friends, we were able to get there and back very quickly compared to when I was trying to do it myself before. Overall, throughout the trip, each and every single person showed me what community means, whether it was including me in conversations, making me laugh, playing games at the table, or showing me pictures, making s'mores, or other things. We all had our ups and downs on the trip because of weather, portaging, and everything else that came with being on the waterway. But what made it complete is knowing that we all had each other's backs whenever someone was in need with large or small things, which made it easier to stay positive throughout whatever came upon us on this trip. I had a fun time on the Allagash this year, even through the hardships that came along with it, and I will have many memories and stories to tell for many years to come because of the wonderful group I was with. And so I hope that the atmosphere of this trip will continue to flow and that the helpfulness from the people of this trip will inspire others to spread actions and feelings of community to those around us wherever we go.